Terry at D-Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you an optional method for changing the filter capacitors in a Hunter Bandit Series 2000 linear amplifier. So here are the original filter capacitors. There's six of them and they're tucked into a cavity down the side of the amplifier. These are all 140 microfarad at 475 volts. And they have a rubber insulator around them because they're wired in series and the grounds are not connected to chassis. In other models of this amplifier, they had the six caps arranged here. So what the challenge is, is locating these original type filter caps. And if you use something different, you have to ensure they'll fit into the slot down the side of the amplifier. I found that these are not readily available. So I have came up with a solution. And that solution is a custom made filter bank on turret boards that will drop right down in that cavity and mount on standoffs. So here's the new filter bank sitting in place. It is built on 2.65 by 1.5 inch turret boards and these are linked boards. So there are actually four different boards that come in this style and you can break them apart for your different applications. So if you wanted to do the six caps here, you could simply separate those modules and turn them. Okay, here's a close up of the new filter cap assembly. Each capacitor is a 220 microfarad at 450 volt. These are the snap-in style. So they're 30 millimeter in diameter and height. You mount them on the turret board and then there's a string of 82K resistors underneath and this will wire right back in like the originals did. I'll provide you a drawing of this assembly at the end of the video and if you need a copy send me an email. Well here's what it looks like with the new board in place. There's just a couple wires to hook up. These white wires were the low side ground through a resistor. This was the tap for the meter switch and this is the high voltage output. So I may have to extend these wires, but it looks like they'll pop right back into place. Okay, installation is complete. I did have to add pigtails to the new turret board to meet up with the old wiring. It's time to hook this thing up and see if we got high voltage. Okay, here we go. Initial power up of the Hunter Bandit after replacement of the filter caps. Now just to let you guys know, I've had this amp for about 15 years and I've never applied power to it. <laughs> so there could be some little surprises. But as a safety measure, this amp is wired for 220 volts. I'm actually going to power it with a Variac at 120 volts. So we're gonna run it at half power just to verify that we have high voltage and see things light up. Here we go guys, initial power up. I'm gonna bring up the Variac. Watch the high voltage meter. She's coming up. Bring up the high voltage about a thousand on that meter. And I'm seeing the fans turn inside. Nothing smoking. That's a good sign. Let's take a look inside. I'll show you the fans spinning and the tubes lighting up. All right. There's a fan spinning at half voltage. You can see the filaments where the output tubes are lit. It's a good sign. Next thing I need to do is verify meter calibration because as you recall, initially there was only six caps, now there's eight. So I have added two 82K resistors in that string, which will more than likely affect meter calibration. All right, well, that's a wrap on the capacitor replacement of the Hunter Bandit 2000 series amplifier. Once I get this thing all tweaked up and make sure the meter is reading correctly, I'll put her on the air and give you guys a live performance test. 